everybody welcome back to Queenie of London I hope you're having a good start to your bank holiday weekend I'm here on Oxford Street and I've just seen that an IKEA is going into the iconic Topshop building which I remember so much from growing up so I'm not really <laughs> happy to see that but there you go so I'm just going to do some more autumn and fall shopping today I'm going to head towards the TK Maxx on Oxford Street then I'm going to pop into next and probably Primark at the end there I'm going to go to the one the Tottenham Court Road end of Oxford Street and not the Marble Arch one today so we'll have a little walk on down and see what we can find today it's a Saturday so it's busy 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 the um, Union Jacks from the Jubilee have been replaced with these I don't know what these mean <laughs> Who knows? So thankfully I've come to TK quite quickly. There is no order on this street. It's completely manic and just very unmannered. <laughs> You saw the homewares upstairs. My eyes immediately drawn to these. These are beautiful. I think they're Wedgwood. Got a lot of crockery in this one. I left that bowl. If you haven't seen my other TK Maxx video. There was a witch one in the TK Maxx in Hammersmith and I left that and now I can't find it so I'm on the hunt for that one today. I really do quite like these. They're nice little side plates. Hmm, they've got a few of those. That one's lovely. Let's have a look without smashing them all. Let's get wicked. I like that. We'll come back to this section in a minute, see what else they've got, shall we? I think it's over here. Yes. There's Christmas in here now. I have to come back to that. <laughs> My mum will love that. Isn't he nice? Is it a giant candle or something? I'm quite surprised. I don't think they have nearly as much as this in this one. You don't find the London one has that many bits and pieces. Oh! These are lovely. Gosh, it's hard to take it all in. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, I adore that. She's got the legs on it as well. I'm just going to see if I can get that back on there. One second. I'm not convinced them legs go on there properly because they don't actually fit. So, oh, look at this adorable witch's hat. I love that. I'm gonna have to have that one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look. It's like a serving tray. Amazing. 
Oh, I'm glad I came here today. Oh, wow. What's up? This one is nice and white, but I don't really like all the skulls. There's some Christmas here. It's up here. Lots of skulls, lots of skulls. Ooh, move stuff around. Whoa! It's huge! This little white one. It's very cute. I might get that one, I might get that one. See that? Palmistry. Oh, look. There's so much to take in. See, I told you before, I get over excited now. My camera works all dodge. Or more dodgy than usual. <laughs> Oh, they're very, very heavy. Far too heavy. These candles. I like this little guy, but I'd rather he was like a witch or something. What's at the back? Basket behind again, guys. Right, let me add a little thorough scoot here. So tempting. What's that there? A cat. Oh, he's glittery. Wow. And like those buckets. Right, I'm going to not give up on this. I'm going to try and find it a lid. Love these. How much are these salt and pepper shakers? Holes are really big though, they just all pour out. Mm. Pops at the back. For cupcakes. Oh, it's got witches on the tops. How oh, lovely. What did I miss here? Oh, look at these ghosties. I wonder if my mum would like those. How adorable. Ten pounds. I put them in because I think she'd like them. They're soft though. But there you go. More candles. We've all seen the candles. I will go and hunt for some more stuff. I like that one. candles in here. I 
think that might be a lot, you know. Have a look at the pet stuff. No. Hmm. A blanket. And there's some more toys here. Art. That one's cute. Not that much. And there is some more Christmas here. what I'm after for my dog in the cart. <laughs> Big fun. It's literally spread all over the place in here. And it's quite small so it's hard to find it all. Go back to these plates I think, you know. <laughs> I think I'm going to pop into Marx's on the way back to pick up some stuff. I decided to leave the thing because I was going to buy it in TK Maxx and take a risk because I wanted some of them little plates and the matching bowls and I didn't want to carry them up here and they have plenty of them so hopefully they'll be there when I walk back this way. So I'm now trying to find where the big next is. And I haven't actually had a look at their autumn stuff this year. But if there's anything I like, I'll probably just order it online if they still have it. Because I do not like carrying all this ceramic on the buses. <laughs> and they're going to be packed. Oh, where that building site is, by the way, it's not there anymore. Number 132. That was where the first John Lewis was opened. Yeah, normally, guys, I have a fact sheet for you. <laughs> you might have noticed. Loads of history, but I thought I'd give you a break from that this week. But I can tell you that uh, the shopping street, Oxford Street, actually developed in the 19th century. And a guy called John Nash... He developed the Oxford Circus part where the uh, Regent Streets and Oxford Streets join in the middle. Right. And there's next, so I'm going to cross over. Oh, it's got a paper chase in this one. Good show. I bet the home's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go on up. Beautiful pool in here, and it's not as mad as TK Maxx. It's nice and serene. Oh, we've got a nice Costa over there. That's a door stopper. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hey there, pumpkin. That's nice. It's a nice quality one. I 
Oh, he's a oh, look. Oh, how lovely. Nice. I wish my dog would wear these, but I, is that one? Yes, that one's okay. I don't like the ones where you have to slot their legs in. Oh, no, look. No, I don't like that. I'm not seeing many autumnal colours. Look at him. <laughs> Smellies. No, I'm not really finding anything. Hmm. You find these with these London branches. They have really, really small home sections. If you're in London, let me know if you know a store which has a massive home section and I will happily go and explore it <laughs> so I think that was a bit of a fail wasn't it I'm gonna go and have a look in paper chaser huh? it's my mum's birthday tomorrow so I need to go and pick her up some wrapping paper we'll have a little butchers in here We shall head on and see what I can find else or where. Can I go down here? Yeah. So in the 19th century, a gent called the Earl of Oxford, <laughs> he purchased fields, lands on this area which was then known as Tyburn Lane, which led to, at the Marble Arch end, the public gallows where people were executed. This was like popular sport and um, it made the area far from desirable. So the Earl of Oxford, he tried to develop the land and it was predominantly used for entertainment purposes because the gentry, the upper classes, didn't want to move here because of those gallows and it wasn't until 1793 that they were eradicated and shut down so we sort of had more people moving in and using the area and it wasn't so run down and shameful to live here but towards the end of the 19th century it took to become a residential shopping street developed after the development of Regent Street and obviously you had individual 
shops and traders and then the development of the department store you had John Lewis first of all and then Selfridges in 1909 I think if I remember that correctly look I've no fact sheet <laughs> and I've no shopping bags either what an absolute state I never come away with loads of shopping bags when I come up to central London but I do prefer shopping along Oxford Street than I do to go into places like Westfield just think it's nicer to be out in the actual fresh air seeing the buses go by and the sights around you all the buildings yeah I like a high street <laughs> His second on Oxford Street, and they used the building that was the Oxford Street Music Hall. And then in the 1920s, this became the New Oxford Theatre, I think it was called. Then that was demolished, and um, they built or a site a Lions Corner House. And then in 1979, for the longest time, it was the first ever Virgin Mega Store in London. I remember that quite well. I'm one of them people that always thinks I'm going to find anything, but I never do, and I <laughs> never really like anything too much. There you go, this is the ground floor. I think there's four floors. I'm going to head towards the artificial flowers, I think. and some like maple leaves and some maybe a black tree but I don't know if they have a black tree these are not so bad they're quite pale orange <laughs> they look a bit tissue papery to me hmm I suppose. Gothic y. That might work. But then you're going to just have too much of this look.
nice. It's not very heavy. It's, not very heavy. it's quite nice. Look at these little ramekins. They're really sweet. Broke. <laughs> I don't know. Is that it? Hmm. Just I think that's a lot. to go for stuff like that isn't it they look a bit real more real more realistic i should say <laughs> can't get my words out of it i'm gasping for a drink now i'm so thirsty i'm not seeing very much what a disaster <laughs> Feel very nice. Feels like chalk. See, every time I come to Primark, I do this. I should literally just learn <laughs> that I always just get leggings. <laughs> nope. No luck today. Just coming down the escalators in TK Maxx and look at these special Halloween jewellery. They're lovely. Who made these? Paper key. These are so fun. Look at these skeleton hands. Are they the same? I've never seen them do anything like that before. I really like this one. A bit rocky horror. So my shopping trip wasn't entirely wasted, although I've only got the one back from TK Maxx today, as opposed to the three massive ones the other week. But that's not too bad. Every time I say to myself, I'm not going to go to Oxford Street, I'm not going to go to Oxford Street, and I do. And every time I'm like, I can see why I don't go to Oxford Street. But anyway, I will be back very soon with a very well researched video for you guys. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for watching this quick little walk around and shop along with me on Oxford Street. Until I speak to you again, have a good weekend, enjoy the bank holiday, lots of love, Queenie.